big bus. The end. <laughs> She left him. Now she's there. This track is awesome. It's so like melancholic and crestfallen-y. It's like a souder dead. I'm sorry I couldn't get the door for you. My legs aren't what they used to be. You're that writer who called earlier, right? Oh, so this is somebody else. It's not his family then. That's right, ma'am. Just Burt Reynolds in his youth before he started defying logic and hair lines. I was hoping you could tell me a bit about your son. He was the sweetest child. And then I quiffed him out. And he became a murderer. I don't know how he got mixed up in that mess. I'm sure it must have come as a shock to you. Yes, well, when I first started killing, I mean, I noticed that he was behaving differently. He was always a bit of a learner, you see. And that is, of course, almost guaranteed to be a murderer. Suddenly he was going out to meet old friends. I never knew he had any. I didn't even know he went out. Thought I'd chained him to that radiator several years ago. A man that age shouldn't be alone all the time. I always felt I was holding him back. He's taking care of me, you see. He had such gentle hands, and when we made love... <laughs> never mind. I only visited with a couple of times when he was in prison. Okay. He wouldn't tell me a thing about it. Said it was better if I didn't know what was going in and out of his asshole. Do you have any idea what happened to his asshole afterwards? Did they stitch it, tape it, staple? Has he been in contact with you? Well, I don't think an asshole can talk, but I do hope the phone will ring one day and finally we can have that colonic interrogation. Look, I just would really like to talk to him, not about his asshole. Well, if he does call, I... Could maybe give him your number? That way he can decide for himself if he'd like to talk to you or not. That sounds more than fair. Thank you. I like this guy. This guy sounds like he's not a psycho. While well, I'm here, wanna bang? <laughs> it's the Tash, right? Makes me look like a porn star. I get it all the time. Please do, my son. Okay. My son's room is upstairs on the left. I hope you re I I'm assuming you can read this, guys. I'm just trying to give a little bit of levity. I've kept it just the way he left it. Because it enables me to be more engaging in the cutscenes, and it doesn't mean that I'm just directly spoon-feeding lines to people, because I appreciate that that might not be their favourite thing. But the subtitles are more than there long enough for you to read them yourself, and I can continue to be silly. And you can mute it if you don't like it, or, or watch something else. Jesus Christ. Is that two single beds pushed together? Just get a double bed, goddammit! This is your house! Uh, this must be his room, the... Is that... No... It's not his room off her room, is it? I am gonna say, it's ridiculous. Where is his room? Is it this? March 10th. March 16th. I like reciting dates. It turns me on. I'm not too sure what that was, I just picked up. Some kind of tape, maybe? I got what I wanted, ma'am. See you later. I'm gonna leave now. Catch my bus back. Ah, oh, somebody needs to clean the roof of that bus. It's filthy. <laughs> Such a good effect. And films and shit used to look like that. I've been thinking. So we're back in Viet Cong, are we? Viet Cong, Honolulu. <laughs> Oh yeah, thinking about what? When I get back home, I think I want to open up a bar, you know? Blue shrimp, red shrimp, bubble shrimp. What, you like drinking? Of course I like drinking! What do I look like you? African American? I used to work as a bartender. I was like, you know, that one guy who was in that one movie where he blew the tower up. But what are you gonna do when you get back home? I'm a teacher, remember? I have a job when I get back. Plus, I touch the kids. They fucking love it. Who wouldn't want to have a sociopathic drunk as their boss? Yeah, yeah, fuck you too, dude. How about you, Lieutenant? Got any plans? Well, I'm not sure. A bar sounds nice. Anything where I won't have to carry a gun and shoot people. Oh, interesting. Maybe I'll find a little convenience store or something. I think that's who that guy is. I think that is the dude who runs the convenience store in the first Hotline Miami. 
He was, he served in Hawaii? People serve in Hawaii? I'm not aware of this. I'm not aware of many things. And he served, did what he had to do for his country, and then he opened up a little convenience store and, you know, conversed with a murderer. Put a little TV next to the register, just sit there all day long relaxing. Sounds like fucking hell. Sounds like you've got it all planned out. I try not to think about it too much. Things never turn out the way you expect them to. Who knows, in a few years we could all be dead. Hell, in a few decades we certainly will. Anyway, I'm gonna see what's keeping the Colonel. We were supposed to move out at dawn. The sun's been up an hour now. Okay, Colonel's uh, chasing the dragon or something. What's he doing? Looks like he's hoovering an American flag with a pirate. <laughs> right. Hey, Colonel, you jacking it? Lieutenant, I was, uh, you know, I was, uh, was just entertaining this parrot. Came out of nowhere. They're considering me for Lieutenant General. Lieutenant General is better than Colonel? Wow, I did not know that. I suppose Brigadier General, yeah, General is higher than Colonel, it does make sense. Lieutenant General is like probably the first step in the general scheme, the hierarchy. You don't look too happy about it, sir. Is something troubling you? From where I'll be sitting, son, I can't smell those gops burning. That bothers me. Love the smell of napalm, perpetually. Besides the fact that we're gonna lose this war. There was a war? <laughs> Which war is this shit? Was it Pearl Harbor War? <laughs> the Cola Wars? <laughs> like, what the fuck? On a more positive note, you and the boys are being sent back home soon. Unfortunately, we've got one more mission before that. Did you ever see Missing in Action with Chuck Norris? It's that one. That's the one! <laughs> oh yes! It's a great movie! The sequel's kinda sucked. Charging an enemy camp with just four soldiers. Good thing you're an elite unit. What a piece of shit mission. Nothing good about it, son. You boys stay frosty this time. Don't get yourselves killed for nothing, you hear? Charlie don't surf. Yes, sir. I don't like surfing anyway. Okay, do we get to pick our gun? LMG. LMG, son. Yeah! We're gonna fucking rambo this. I'm going into the jungle to kill... 14th. Stronghold. Very psychedelic. That looks like one of those cans of Rockstar I was drinking the other day. Interesting. Yeah, son. Dancing in the jungle. Here we go. Time to get these bastards. Okay. I don't know if I can kill that fat guy like normal. Oh, I didn't knock him! Okay. Dude just slashed me. <laughs> Surprise! Ow. That did not go as expected. See so, ya. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. This character's way cool. I like him. How do I do this? I'm gonna go in with a knife, Johnny. Johnny be good. Johnny's always good. Just give him something to kill. Whoa! Hi. He's going. Got him. Fuck you all, son. I was born to fuck the world. Curse it way too much, but it's all good. This is a an R-rated playthrough. <gasps> I forgot he's one of those weird ones. He's kind of like fat and special. I keep pressing the analog to lock on. What is this, Dark Souls? Get out of here. Motherfucker. <laughs> we call him Jabber the Lightning Fingers, because that's what he... Don't kill me. Okay, kill everybody. Kill them all! <laughs> Damn it. I will say one thing about changing characters, it's a little bit disorientating because the playstyles are so very different. But I think that's only going to add to the game. Ow. Because they are so different, it gives it replay value, it gives it the strategy. It's... It's awesome. And I don't think anyone's going to play this game. Which fucking sucks because people have terrible taste these days. Everybody's picking up like Resident Evil Revelations and shit that's just recycled Capcom trash. Why would they not come? Fucking bitches. Come now, aren't you? Oh god. I've been killing Charlie since I was a boy. 
snorted by the bucket though. This is a good tune, this. Back on with the good music, which is nice to hear. How big is this camp? This camp's pretty big. Shall we uh, bait the dinner whistle? That'll be bit. Okay. Nobody bit. Everybody bit. He didn't kill. That time he did. Busted that guy's intestines out. This game's so violent. Can I shoot that guy over the pot? I do not think I can. Running out of bullets here, because these surfaces aren't shooter friendly. How dare you not let me shoot through you? Uh. Hi. Oh no, dude! Seriously? God, these stretchy damn levels, they keep catching me up. Ha oh, I don't like Chuck Norris for no reason, son. I am Chuck Norris. con has been horrendous again. Hi. Shit. Run out of them bullets. Gah! Oh, I know why you might have been picking up weapons randomly earlier on. This is that controller where every so often the hair trigger on the left analog gets registered when you don't press it. I f completely forgot that like, this pad did that because it's not done it in so long. So that might completely explain the uh, the abnormality there. Yeah, there is no cover to push up here. This is really, really bad. Can I? Uh... Yes, I can. Bait the dinner whistle. Slash his throat. That guy's having none of it, he just doesn't come. You know, he's stroke and stroke and stroke, but nothing. I'm gonna rush for that door. It worked. Look at him. That is bullshit, that. How can he, from a, a greater distance? Oh, very strange. Got him. Buddy didn't budge though, did he? My problem is what's at the edge of the screen where I can't see. That's way more interesting to me because of course I can't see. No, fat guys can't be... Oh no, that's so bad. I don't think you can kill fat guy with your knife. Fucking, no you can't. He's un he's unknifeable, you have to shoot him. He is a white equivalent of the, the black dude. So, we're going to use this knife as much as we can, and we're going to save save the bullets for when we need them. What's happening to the screen? That is my phone. My, uh, my beautiful girlfriend there, who is crazy busy recently. She's doing all kinds of photo shoots and all sorts of madness. And she's just got a new job uh, working in a call center to get some money for when she goes to America. Like shit, it was crazy. She left the house this morning at 7 a.m., got back in at 7 p.m., and she's knackered. But she can't wait to see me, and I can't wait to see her, and that's why we work as a couple. Because even after like seven and eight years or whatever it's been, it still feels fresh and awesome and exciting. And that, my friend, is a very rare thing. And if you ever find it, you would do well to hold on to it. Because it doesn't come all that often. Right, this fucking bitch, you're gonna so get 
I'm gonna kill you so hard in the mouth, son. Okay. So we know that he's quite cooperative. Damn, I did not know that that, that could have gone really bad. Luckily enough, uh, we got lucky. Shit. Shit. Oh, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. So if you remember, we shot this guy and then Chubby came. Looks like Chubby might be dead. <laughs> I uh, don't know why. It's doing it again. Yeah, my, uh, my controller is mutiny on the bounty at this moment in time. Can we shoot across there at him? We can. Problem with this is there's not a lot of cover. That guy's got a gun. Go at top weight. You can't see me, you can't kill me. Whew! Nicely done. That was hard. It was hard because it was a massive room with no cover. Oh, is this sandcastles? Oh my gosh! That is tricky. Tricky placement right there. Oh, yeah. oh, fuck you. <laughs> no soup for you, son. It's what he almost seemed to say with his eyes as I stuck the knife deeper. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting about... Did I forget about you or did you just... I'm out of ammo. This is not a good thing. And my party's doing that weird thing. <laughs> Bollocks. I don't want to put that shit pad on. I've got used to this one now. Then again, I can use an Xbox One pad, can't I, on PC? I just bang that in. That controller feels really nice. Who shot me? Hello. Hi. Oh, there, that's, there goes that guy. Machete. Gun guy. Oh, there's ammo there as well. Hi. 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 Oh. 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 That's a wall. That's why he's not having any of it. <clears throat> this is really tricky to see. What is this place? Like a casino? Is a casino in Hawaii? I had no idea. I thought Hawaii was just like a volcano and lots of people with those weird leaves. Clearly. I'm only playing, folks. Then again, I don't. I still don't know much about Hawaii, but it's like any other blossoming metropolis on a desert island. Shit, there was a guy there! I was aiming at him! Cool. That was fun. That was a really fun area, that one. I just guerrilla espionaged him. There was nothing they could do. Oh, shit! Fat guy. That fat guy did die! Whew, whew. Fuck you, fat guy! Fuck you! Hello. No. That guy. I try. I try. I press Y to change. Like it's two-handing. Come on. God. 
that's the only problem when you you don't have it down to, to the old muscle memory. You press What? Motherfucker took bullets and then shot me. This is not raw deal, son. Uh, whoa! God, they're everywhere. God damn. Hawaiians! Don't you dare, son. Shit on your sandwich dinner. <laughs> Put a turd in that bread. <gasps> That's not what I wanted to press. I got shot again. I wonder if this difficulty is. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's any lower because you still kind of die in a hit. But I'm taking guaranteed hits there. You see the blood and everything. Hey. Hey. Fuck you, dude. See me. What an asshole. The only time you want to be seen, they don't see you. Oof, that was close, he fired back. Come on. Fuck it. I've only got five bullets, I think I'm going to stick with the knife. Hi! That guy's got a gun. <gasps> that guy's got a gun too! Shit! Ninja buggers! There's a lot of people here, and a lot of them are those fat guys. That was not what I wanted. That was really lucky. The lock-on's just going nuts. But it's okay. It's okay. I'll kill them all. Sir. Kill them all, Chief. I'll kill them all. This is rather dense. Fuck off, dude. I hate those enemies. That delayed death bullshit. Like, that's a thing in, in anything. I wish I had... Oh, there's ammo there. Thanks. Just hit you with an M60 and you're just like, Yeah, you don't even feel it. You're shooting at me, boy. It takes so long to fucking die. need them bullets. That's what we're going to try and do. We're going to try and get those bullets. Motherfucker, dude. There's just a bazillion dudes patrolling. It's mad annoying. Oh, bullets there as well. That might be a quicker path, actually. Ow. 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 Like, you fucking saw me. He saw me. Fucking chunky bastard. Damn it. I need to be aggressive here to thin some numbers, because if I'm not, it's just going to take forever. Whoa! Couldn't even tell what that was. This is a big cross. Shouldn't have worked. Anyway, it might just be a bed. I think it's actually a bed, you know. Yeah, they're everywhere. That's not ammo. Which is bad, because there's a fat guy. That is definitely ammo. 
protected by two guys with machetes. Can we do this? Yes. I'm not sure how, but it worked. One guy there. <laughs> Fuck you, stupid pattern. Then again, there's not much pattern in this game. There's just basic instructions that the AI follows. They kind of do their own thing. I had one of those rare moments where I completely forgot the controls for like a second. It's a stupid thing that happens. It is fleeting though, thankfully. Who the hell's left? Him. Is it just him? No. There's a few. And I can't see what's what I'm hitting. Machete man. That's not the end somebody else. Someone, oh, someone I'm not seeing. Which is always really scary. What am I not seeing? Somebody over there. Guy with the gun. This is the last guy on the map. Whew. <clears throat> Dan here. I'm done cleaning out the suite. It's upstairs. Have any new guests arrived? This is Mike. I'm outside greeting the VIPs. Sure, come up. I'll come down and collect their luggage. See all that CIA talk. Yes, it was a delicious pizza. I would like more pepperoni. Which is, of course, CIA talk for I killed a motherfucker and all of his family. Outstanding work there, soldier. Thank you, sir. I wish my men were as well trained and as capable as you. We've been trying to seize this enemy camp for weeks. Suffered some heavy casualties. Well, I'm glad we can put this all behind us now. Yes, sir. Bang. <laughs> Why don't you go back? Set up camp and get yourself some rest. Got a round of my men, my company and I will join you later. We're gonna get sold out here, I can see this happening. That was a fun mission. A couple of tricky moments. Um, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the, just how dense and how big some of these levels are when it comes to, you know, single rooms having 50 guys with guns in them. I mean, it's definitely a challenge. But I think there's more graceful ways of doing it. I hope they pace it so there's not too much of this, because if it continues to get like this, it could could get a little bit tiresome. But so far, I'm having a ton of fun. <laughs>